Yeah, it is a very tight race. Uh, since the polls opened around 6 a.m. local time this morning, uh, there's, still, there's been a highish turnout, not as high as some expected. It's around 5% compared to 5.9% on the last election. One of the reasons that might be, though, is the incredibly high early voter turnout last week uh, for two days of voting in which around 37% of all eligible voters cast an early ballot. And that's the highest uh, since early voting began back in 2014. The two front runners uh, really neck and neck when polling uh, was banned, uh, you know, before polling was banned a couple of days before the voting began. So we don't actually know what it's been in the lead up. And one factor that could change everything is Anchol Su, one of the minor party candidates pulling out, giving his support to Yoon Sok Yol. Many analysts saying this is going to mean that Yoon Sok Yol, the opposition uh, candidate, who is heading what is a revamped party of uh, Pak Gun Hae, the impeached former president's party, that could give him the advantage. Others are saying it's going to muster the supporters of the ruling party candidate, E. J. Myung, those people who were sitting on the fence who might not have bothered to come out and vote, and it's going to bring them down to the polling stations. We're going to have to wait and see, though. Uh, we've still got about eight hours before those exit poll figures start coming out to give us some idea of which way this election is going and it's probably not uh, till around midnight that we'll have a very clear idea of who the next president is going to be.